Hi guys, I'm Average Dom Slim, and this is Africa. I'm in the beautiful country of Zambia, and it's been my quest the last few days to go out for a run in the wild. But the resort staff here have told me time and time again, that if I leave the resort, my biggest danger is elephants and then hippos. If it was lions, that's done deal for me, case closed, yes sir. Um, I'm, I'm indoors, no problem, but hippos and elephants, I know they could kill me, I know that, but I still want to go out and just go and see, you know what I mean? So it's been a, a challenge day by day for me to figure out how I am going to go and run. I don't, I don't like treadmill running, and I, I, I appreciate those who do, but I don't like treadmill running. The beauty of running is being out in nature, exploring, you feel free, and wild. Um, being on a treadmill is a little tedious, if I'm being honest. But day one, that's where I ended up. I slept under this last night. I feel like a tiny bit royal prince or something, but it's just for the, just for the insects. I wanted to step out there this morning to get a really nice shot of the sunrise, but there's about 12 million mosquitoes waiting to give me malaria like this. I can literally see the mosquitoes landing on the screen. Would absolutely lather on the insect repellent this morning before I go for a run. For real let's go run in africa oh man so i just got the bad news which is uh i can't really run here and the main danger is uh the animals like the wildlife that from here to actually the main road there's wildlife everywhere and so i asked the hotel staff and they said oh please don't Please don't run out there. You know where I'm going this morning? I'm going to the gym to run on a treadmill. So it's not gonna be, now it is fine. But look how beautiful this place is around me. Have you seen it? Incredible. All right, let's check, check out this gym, I guess. Treadmill run is not nearly as good as an actual outdoor run and I was super tempted to go running. I got it done. 60 minutes on the on the treadmill 12 k's my first run of uh of zambia is done now by day two i was just done with the treadmill i was like that's driving me crazy it's a pretty nice view from the gym i have to admit but still standing in one spot you can't help looking at the bloody treadmill it makes you feel really slow because you feel really fast it makes you go really slow because you feel really fast. On the treadmill, if you try and put the speed up, you feel like you're rocking this thing. You feel like you're going hell for leather, right? And then you look at it and you're going for a pace of like 520. You're like, damn. Day two, I asked a bunch of different stuff. I did get the same answers. Yeah, you probably can't run out there. In fact, we highly recommend you don't. Please don't leave. Okay, so I did loops of this resort, which in honesty, is a pretty beautiful place. Good morning, this is attempt number two this morning at uh, trying to run in the outdoors. I don't want to be resigned to running on a treadmill again, so that on the map, that does seem to be this little loop within the resort that looks like it could be one one kilometer i thought at the start if i ran round and round in circles on a 1k loop would i get crazy and then i realized every tuesday always i run in a 400 meter circle the thing is i have a really fun workout if i get to do the workout but if i'm on a treadmill I don't think I can do it. That's inside out. It's 
screw it. We're going inside out. Anyway, I should stop talking and go check it out because it's not dry there. Let's gently go. Okay, potentially there's a little loop within the resort that I can run on for the moment. So we're trying this, seeing if this is feasible for a full workout. Let's see how we go. Oh, beautiful sunrise. All right, this is not too bad. I might actually do my session here. Just done a loop. Got a bit lost, so it went about 1.3, but I think it's maybe 0 0.8. 0 0.8 of a loop. It's not too bad. Two laps of a track. I'm just warming up for the moment, so I'll keep you with me and show you the route. And I'll drop you off and do the actual session. Well, that was pretty magical. I'm on my warm down now. I wouldn't say it's the best workout in terms of performance, but in terms of freedom, oh my gosh. You know, when you take something for granted, then it take, gets taken away from you, and you get it back again, there's nothing sweeter. Never felt more accomplished for getting a workout done. I'm just so happy I got to squeeze in, I got to do it outdoors. All right, I think that's enough. Oh, and yesterday was a double run day. So in the evening, I went at the gym and then I ran again, just for half an hour. But that, that's, I'm reaching my treadmill capacity. Day three, that's today. And I went out with a plan, sort of. Not a very good one, I have to admit. I'd asked them yesterday about lifts, getting a lift out to the main road where they said you can run. Because it's past, so essentially we're in a resort and there's a main road two kilometers from that. And in between that is just, a, 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 what do you call it? Just natural wildlife habitat. So this is where the animals roam. So this is why they don't let you run out there. I would be happy to take the risk, but then they, they don't allow you. So you have to go in a car. Very difficult to organize a lift just to the road because it's not really a full trip. So taxis don't want to come and do that. Anyway, my idea was if someone else is getting a lift somewhere, then I can maybe just hitch a ride. I was like, can I just jump in the back of this taxi? And just, I'm, I'm definitely going where you're going because there's one road out of here. My second option was um, there's hotel staff that are like around the back and they get lifts to and from from this like secret service entrance and I was like man I could go and I don't want to say bribe that sounds terrible like cause I was just paid them for a lift and then I realized maybe uh, they, would, they would get fired or something I don't want to do that anyway so this morning I ended up running around in circles again Right, day three attempt. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, looks like I'm running around the resort again. I tried. Prison. There, yeah, the prison gates. All right, there's plenty enough for this morning. How do? Enough loops. So, if you're thinking, so you're in Africa and you haven't even run outside the resort yet, then that that's exactly what I'm thinking. Don't, you don't even need to say it because I'm like, I'm in Africa and I haven't even run out of the resort But I'm here for another week and a half. This weekend, I'll get out of the resort, which means I'll get to run through Livingstone to a proper Zambia run. I want to run, do my long run from town all the way down to the Zimbabwe border. That will be cool. And then next week, I'm going to Kenya. I'll definitely be doing some running through Nairobi. Hopefully meet up with some Kenyans and try and keep up. So lots to come on this channel, given it is 
post day, I do have to create a video and post. I wish I had a little bit more for you, but that's why we have this beautiful subscribe button so you can subscribe and come back next week to see some juicy African running and wildlife. I'm gonna see wildlife, I just haven't seen any yet. Except for some monkeys, little cheeky baboons. <laughs> anyway, I am Avery Shumston. I will see you next week. And I'll leave you with my little visit to a beautiful place called Victoria Falls. This is unreal. The falls are absolutely beautiful. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I gotta turn the camera around. Not for me.